Today I'm going to talk about half fish pose. This is the pose that I think looks most like a pretzel. So if you're doing yoga and somebody says, oh, you gotta tie yourself into a pretzel, they might be talking about this pose. It's a really nice twist, um, but if you're feeling not super flexible, it might look a little bit intimidating. And there's some different options you can take um, to come into this pose a little bit more easier and some options to make it a little bit more challenging. So to start to come into half fish pose, you always come in from staff pose with your legs straight out in front of you. And then you lift one knee up, pointing that knee up towards the sky. Now, you can stay right here. I had one student at one point who really had a very hard time putting her foot over the opposite leg. So she just stayed here. This is fine. You can stay right here. If you don't want to bring that foot over the opposite leg and you just want to stay here, then at that point, you would wrap your opposite arm around that bent knee and bring that hand behind you. So in this case, my right knee is bent and the right hand is behind me. The left hand is wrapped around that leg. You can put this back hand wherever it feels good and comfortable, and then slowly use the leverage that you have with the right hand wrapped around the opposite leg to pull your upper body around and look behind you. You're gonna feel that twist all through the spine. I'll show you on the other side as well. If you wanna just lift your knee up, wrap your opposite arm around that leg, and then bring the same hand behind you. So my left knee is bent, left hand is behind me. You can play around with exactly where you wanna put that left hand, and then start to bring the gaze behind you. Now remember, as in all poses, your body is not symmetrical, so one side might feel really different. On one side, you might feel like putting your hand all the way over to the opposite side near the opposite hip. And maybe on the other side, you just want to bring it next to that same hip. Just listen to your body. Feel where you're feeling the twist and see what's right for you. And so if you want to come in a little bit deeper than that, then you start to cross the foot over the opposite leg. So you lift up your knee, cross it over the opposite leg. And at that point, you've got two options with this leg that's extended. You can keep it straight out, or you can plant your hand on the ground, bring your weight over to the side and bend your knee, wrapping that leg around your hips. So here I've got my right knee bent, bringing the left hand over. I can swing that leg around the side and then come back to center. Again, we're gonna wrap the opposite arm around the leg and bring this hand that's the, on the same side as the bent knee behind you. You can play with that hand wherever you want it to go and start to look behind and over your shoulder. If you only feel like you can look over to the side, that's okay, that's enough of a stretch. You don't wanna to come too deep into that twist if it feels uncomfortable. And the last option here, instead of wrapping your arm around that knee, is to lift your opposite hand up, big breath in. And as you breathe out, bend your elbow, tuck the elbow outside of the opposite knee, and then come into your twist. Let me show you that on the other side as well. Here I'm bending the left knee, pointing up towards the sky, crossing it over the right leg. And then I bring the weight over to the right to bend the knee and wrap it around the hips. Remember, you can keep your leg long as well behind me and then start to look over your shoulder i feel today like it's more difficult for me to bring my gaze very far back here when i'm looking over my left shoulder so i'm just taking it a little bit easy i got my fingers kind of in the center behind me and i'm just looking over the shoulder and then the last option is to inhale your opposite arm up Exhale, tuck the elbow outside the knee. So my right elbow is tucking outside of the left knee here. And then bring the hand behind you and start to look back over the shoulder. Now this part where you're twisting and bringing the gaze over the shoulder, that's where you're gonna get the most intense twist in your shoulders and your back. And you wanna go really slowly so you can find your edge. 
and not go too deep into the pose and avoid injuring yourself. As always, the most important thing is to listen to your body so you know when to stop. Because I don't know that you don't necessarily need to look like me. All that needs to happen is you got to feel it in your back, in your shoulders. Go so slow so that you can feel where that stopping point is, where you're going to still be safe. So that's half fish pose, and we'll do that today towards the end of our practice. Let's begin on our backs today. In any sort of Shavasana pose you would like to come into, today I'm going to use a block underneath my back with my knees pointing up towards the sky. But of course, you can always have your legs flat on the ground or bring your feet together for Supta Baddha Konasana. I'm just going to put this block here right underneath my hips at the lowest setting. So I can sort of lean into that block and give my spine a little bit of a rest, a little bit of a really gentle restorative back bend here. Wherever you are, close your eyes. And start to listen for your breath. Start to deepen and lengthen your breathing. If you like, you can count your breaths. Maybe use the mountain breath, adding one number, one count to each inhale and each exhale. Just gently, slowly, gradually lengthening the breath. Find your yoga breath, the ujjayi breath. If you're not too stuffed up, you can seal your lips and start to breathe in and out of your nose. Listening for your breath in the back of the throat. It should sound like the ocean moving in and out inside of your head. Let the sound of your breath fill your mind, bringing all of your attention to that sound and clearing away all other thoughts, letting go of anything you're worried about outside of the mat, focusing fully inward. being present inside of your body. Just notice where your boundaries are today. Feel your hands resting on the ground, the back of your head, your back, maybe your feet or the backs of the legs. Start to do a body scan. From the crown of your head, working your way down. Notice how that little spot right in between your eyebrows at the top of the bridge of the nose feels. Sometimes we hold a lot of tension there. We move through your forehead and your cheeks. Feel your jaw. See if there's any clenching of the jaw going on. Move into your neck. Back of the neck, the shoulders. And down your arms. 
through your elbows, wrists, and fingers. And through the spine, all the way down to your hips, into the legs, knees, ankles, and toes. As you go through each body part, just notice how you're feeling today. You can note of any sore spots, anything that feels off at all. And remind yourself of any injuries you have, old or new, so that you can take those into account as you're going through your postures today. Remember that every body is different. We all have a unique history of the actions that our body has taken throughout our lives have left a mark on our muscles and our bones. And we each have a unique genetic makeup so that every person will look different when coming into a pose. And it's just important to meet your body where it is at this moment. Take a few more deep, full breaths here, just being inside of your body. Blink your eyes open. If you have a block underneath your back, just slide it out and set it to the side. And draw your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your legs. Take a big breath in here. Exhale. Come into a cannibal. Lift your forehead up to your knees, squeezing everything tight together. Release your head back down to the mat. Find your kneecaps with your hands. And do some gentle circles with the knees. Give your lower back a little massage on the ground. And find circles going the opposite direction. Drop your feet back down to the mat, knees pointing up towards the sky. Bring your hands up overhead, three bridge poses with the breath. Inhale, rooting down through the feet. Lift your hips up, pushing your belly to the sky. Exhale, releasing your back down to the mat, one vertebrae at a time. Two more times, just going with your breath. Inhaling to lift. Exhale, slowly lowering back down to the mat. One last time, nice and slow. Lift your feet off the mat, tuck your fingers inside the creases of both knees, and rock and roll on your back. Along the spine a few times. And make your way up to a seat into easy pose. If it's accessible to you, try to open up your feet and your knees so that both knees and both feet are touching the ground with nothing overlapping. If not, that's okay too. Inhale, lifting your hands up overhead. Exhale, folding forward over the feet. Stretch your hands out in front of you. Find your edge, relax your head and neck down and round out through the back. On your next breath in, walk your hands back, lifting up your chest, bring your hands to your lap, 
and do some gentle circles with your neck. These can be big circles or small circles. You can go faster or slower. Whatever feels right. And find circles going the other way. You can imagine that you're leading the circles with the crown of your head or with your chin. It's a little different either way. Come back to center. Reach down and switch your legs. Push that front leg to the back and bring the back leg out in front. One more time, folding over the feet. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, fold forward, hinging from the hips. Keep your spine really long as you walk your fingertips out. And once you find your edge, round out through the back, relax your forehead down towards the ground. On your next breath in, walk your hands back, lifting up your chest. And make your way to hands and knees tabletop. Bring your knees right underneath the hips. Wrists come right underneath the shoulders. You can a nice rectangle with the ground here. Your arms are a little bit longer than the length from your knee to your hips. So your back is going to be a little bit angled, but that's okay. You don't need to make a perfect Rectangle, inhale, drop the belly down, roll the shoulders back, bring your gaze up or forward. Exhale, pushing your spine up towards the ceiling, one vertebrae at a time, relax your head and neck down and bring your gaze through your knees. Keep moving through cat-cow, going with your breath. Nice and slow, try to stretch your breath out and lengthen your motions to match your breath. Come back to a neutral spine. <coughs> Let's make our way to thread the needle. Lift the right arm high, take a deep breath in, stacking the shoulders, stretch your fingers up. Exhale, send your right arm through underneath the left and come to rest on the right shoulder and the right cheek. With your left hand, you can crawl your fingers forward, get a nice stretch of that left arm. You can take your left hand and wrap it back, reaching towards the right hip. A little twist, or you can leave your hand where it was, drop the elbow down to the mat. And if you want an extra challenge, lift your left leg high, push through your heel, flex your toes. It doesn't need to come perpendicular to the floor, just lift it to whatever point feels right for you. Take one more big breath in here. As you breathe out, drop your left knee back down to the mat. Bring your left hand right next to your face to unwind. Pushing through the left hand, lift your right arm high. Take a deep breath in. Give your wrist a couple turns. And set your right hand back down on the mat. Switching sides, left arm comes high. Big breath in, stacking the shoulders. Exhale, sending the left arm through underneath the right. Come to rest on the left shoulder and the left cheek. Same options with the right hand. Crawl your fingers forward. Get a nice stretch through that arm. 
Wrap your right hand back behind you, reaching towards the left hip. Or leave your right hand where it was on the mat and drop your elbow down. For that extra challenge, lift your right leg high. Push through your heel, flex your toes. If you ever feel wobbly here, just release your right elbow back down to the mat, and that will help you stabilize. Take one more big breath in with your foot up. As you breathe out, drop your right knee back down to the mat. Unwind, bring the right hand right next to the face. Big breath in, lift your left arm high. Give your wrist a couple turns. And set your left hand back down on the mat. Come into downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up. You can move around here a little bit. Find a nice, comfortable down dog position. Adjust your hands and feet. Hands and feet should both be about hip width distance apart. Sometimes you might feel a little bit more comfortable to feel pull your feet a little bit closer together. Some of my students prefer that. Make sure your fingers are open nice and wide, pushing down through the pads at the ends of the fingers and the curve at the bottom of the palm. Almost like you're gripping the mat. You can have a little micro bend in your knuckles. Check in with your shoulders. Keep the shoulder blades sliding down the back towards the hips, out of the ears. Heels are reaching towards the floor. If they don't need a touch, just going in that direction. You can bend one knee and then the other. Just start to get the blood flowing through the legs and the hips. Take a deep breath in, come all the way up onto your tippy toes. Uh, so sending your heels all the way over to the right. Hips lean a bit to the right. Maybe feel a nice stretch here on the left side of your body. Come back to center, tippy toes, big breath in. And so sending heels to the left, hips lean a bit to the left. Feel a nice stretch on the right side. Back up to center, tippy toes, big breath in. And on your breath out, push your heels down towards the floor. Feel that stretch on the back of the legs. Three sun salutations going with the breath here. Bend your knees, lift your hands, take a deep breath in. Exhale, hopper step between your hands, forward fold. Half lift, breathing in, lifting up the torso, bring it parallel to the ground. Exhale, folding forward, relax your upper body down. Inhale, rising up to standing, bend your knees, roll your spine up one vertebrae at a time, float your hands up overhead. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. Side stretch, inhale, hands high. Interlace your fingers, pointers up. Exhale, stretching down towards the right. Back up to center, breathing in. And to the left as you breathe out. Inhale to center. Standing back, bend on your exhale. Come straight back up under breath in. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from the hips, keeping your spine really nice and long as you go down. Half lift to breathe in, bring your hands to shins or float them over the ground. Exhale, double dip chaturanga, plant your hands, hop or step back to your high plank upper push up. Keep your knees up or lower them down to the mat. Dr. Cobra breathing in. If your legs are all the way on the ground, keep your elbows bent. Exhale, downward facing dog, tuck your toes, lift your hips up. Second sun salutation, we're going to start our side stretch, going to the left first. Bend your knees, look forward to your hands, take a deep breath in. 
Exhale, half the step right between the hands, forward fold. Half lift, breathing in, pull the shoulders down the back, opening up the chest. Forward fold on your exhale, relax everything down. Inhale, rise, and up to standing, let your arms dangle down until your neck comes up, and then lift them overhead. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. Side stretch to the left first. Inhale, hands high. Release the fingers, pointers up. Exhale, stretching down towards the left. Back up, straight breathing in. And down to the right as you breathe out. Inhale, rising straight up. Exhale to a standing back. Then cactus the arms or bring your hands down to your back pocket. Straight back up, breathing in. Exhale. Try to keep the soles of the feet parallel to the wall behind you as you lower down halfway. Up, dog or cobra, breathing in, coming up. Exhale, roll over your toes, lift your hips up to the downward facing dog. One last sun salutation. No side stretch this time. Just straight up and down. Bend your knees, look forward to your hands. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hop or step between the hands. Forward fold. Half lift as you breathe in. And forward fold, breathing out. Inhale, coming up to standing. Take your whole breath to get here. Exhale. Hands to heart center. I'm going straight back down this time. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, folding forward. Take your time going down. Half lift to breathe in. Double dip chaturanga, breathing out. Make sure you don't go below your elbows as you're lowering down. A dog or cobra as you breathe in. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Lift your right foot high. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, knee comes to the nose, shoulders right over the wrists. Foot goes back up on a breath in. Exhale, tap your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, sending your right heel high. Exhale, cross it over, tapping it to the left elbow. Straight back up, breathing in. And step your foot through between your hands as you breathe out. Rise up on an inhale, make your way to crescent lunge. Feet are kind of on two different train tracks here, both toes pointing straight forward. Front knee has a nice deep bend in it, directly over that ankle. Hips are squared off towards the front and the back heels lifted just a little bit. Once you get your legs nice and comfortable, lift your hands up overhead. Turn the pinkies in to keep the shoulders moving down the back. We're going to do three open arm twists to the right with the breath. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, twisting to the right, open out your arms. Straight back up to crescent lunge, breathing in. Two more times with the breath. Exhale to the open arm twist. Last one. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, opening out. Back up to crescent lunge as you breathe in. And open out to warrior two. As you breathe out, drop that back foot around. Pivoting your foot around, drop the heel down. Bring your feet perpendicular. The front heel is intersecting with the back heel or the back arch. Front toes pointing straight towards the short end of the mat. And you still have that nice deep bend in your front knee right over the ankle. Arms are reaching straight forward and back. Give your back hand a little peek to make sure it's nice and high. And bring the gaze right over the front middle finger. Let's do our yoga jumping jacks with the breath. Inhale, straighten out the front knee, bring your hands up overhead. Exhale, slowly making your way back to warrior two. 
more and more. Just go with your breath at your own pace. Three, feel every muscle working together here. Two, and last one. Coming into Prasarita, wide-legged forward, bend straight out the front knee. Drop your hands to your hips and turn the right toes toward the lower edge of the mat. And then line up your feet, bringing your pinky toe edges parallel to each other. Pull your elbows behind your back towards each other. Pop up the chest, take a big breath in here. Exhale, folding forward, hinging from the hips, keeping a nice long slide as you go down. Once you find your edge, relax your head and neck and release your hands down to the ground. You can adjust your feet here as needed and start to crawl your hands out in front of you. You can always find a block here under your hands if that feels good. Keep your shoulders moving down your back, out of the ears. Feel a nice stretch in the arms and the back and the legs. And check in with your hips. Make sure they're still lined up with the feet. Sometimes you might want to lean forward. And you want your, your legs to be super perpendicular to the ground, straight up. Now walk your hands through your feet. Turn your fingertips around so they're pointing in the opposite direction. And see how far up behind you. You can comfortably crawl those fingers. Find your edge, wherever that is. Notice the stretch on the back of the legs intensifying the farther you get those fingers out behind you. Walk your hands back to center. Weight comes to both of your hands to bend your knees and pull your heels in towards each other. Inhale, rising up to starfish. Exhale, opening out to warrior two. Take a big breath in here. On your breath out, cartwheel the hands down, framing the front foot. Send the right heel high as you breathe in. Double dip chaturanga, breathing out. Keep your elbows tucked right next to the ribs as you lower down. Up, Tiger Cobra, big breath in on the tops of the feet. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Let's take a little break here before we do the other side. Drop your knees down, untuck your toes, push your hips back to your heels, relax your forehead down, linking your way into child's pose. If child's pose is not comfortable, you can always rest in a different position on your back or in a seat. Close your eyes here. Bring your focus back to the breath. Feel your back rising and falling with the breath. Feel your lungs expanding and contracting. Try to stretch the breath out. Not in a forced way, just a gentle lengthening of each breath. If your hands are wrapped back towards the feet, bring your hands back out in front of you. Come into puppy pose, start to crawl your fingertips forward and lift your hips up. Reach your chin or chest down towards the mat. Your hips can come right above the knees or stay a little bit behind them. Feel a nice gentle back bend here. On your next inhale, walk your hands back, lifting up your chest to hands and knees, tabletop. 
Exhale, tucking your toes under, lift your hips up to downward facing dog. Now let's do that warrior sequence on the left. Lift your left foot high, take a deep breath in. Exhale, knee to nose. Foot goes back up, breathing in. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, sending the left heel high. Exhale, cross it over, tap your left knee to your right elbow. Straight back up, breathing in. And step the foot through between the hands as you breathe out. Rise up on an inhale to crescent lunge. Both toes are pointing straight forward. Back right heel is lifted. Front left knee is right over the ankle. Hips squared off towards the short end of the mat. Lift your hands up and turn your pinkies in. Three, open arm twist to the left. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, twisting around to the left. Open out your arms to the sides. Come straight back up to crescent lunge on a breath in. Two more times with a breath. Exhale, opening out. Last one, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, twisting around towards the left. Back up to crescent lunge as you breathe in. And open out to warrior two as you breathe out. Pivot your back foot around, drop the heel down. Line up your feet with your heel intersecting the back heel or the back arch. Pick on your back hand. And then bring the gaze over the middle finger, the front middle finger. Let's do our yoga jumping jacks on this side. Inhale, front knee straightens out, bring your hands up overhead. Exhale, slowly sink back down to warrior two. Four more, just go at your own pace. I'm just counting so you know where I am. Three. Two. And last one. Coming into our wide legged forward bend again. Straighten out the front knee, drop your hands down to your hips, and turn your left toes towards the long edge of the mat. Line up your feet, bring in the pinky toe edges parallel, and see your big toes are ever so slightly turned inward towards each other. Inhale, lift your hands up overhead. Exhale, sweep your hands back behind you, interlace your fingers, push down, popping up the chest. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hinging forward from the hips, keeping the spine really long as you fold down. Once you find your edge, relax your head and neck and peel your arms off your back. Push up through the hands so you can feel your shoulder blades sliding down the back towards the hips out of the ears. Release your hands. Let your hands slide down your legs, coming to stop wherever they feel comfortable. If you can reach all the way down to your feet, you can tuck your fingers underneath the pinky toe edges of the feet, and then bend your elbows straight out to the sides to come even deeper into the folds. Thigh. And with your left fingers, you're going to start crawling your fingers overhead, reaching towards the right. You don't have to get very far. Just listen to your body. You might feel this twist in one of your shoulders, in one of your legs. Wherever you find that edge, that point where you think, oh, I'm going to stop here. That's your edge. Pull back just a little bit. Make sure you're not right up against that edge. And release your hands and switch sides. Left hand reaches out and grabs onto the right leg. Anywhere that feels good. Ankle cap or thigh. And start to crawl your right fingertips overhead towards the left. They don't need to get very far. Just find your edge.
and release. Bring both hands right underneath your face. Weight comes to both of your hands to bend your knees and pull your tails in towards each other. Inhale, rising up to starfish. Exhale, opening out to warrior two. Take one more big breath in here. As you breathe out, cartwheel the hands down to frame the front foot. Send your left heel high, breathing in. Double dip chaturanga, breathing out. A darker cobra on a breath in. And downward facing dog on your exhale. For another little break before we continue, make your way to child's pose or any other comfortable resting position. Hands can be stretched out in front of you or wrap back towards the feet. Let your shoulders drape over the knees. Close your eyes. Notice where your body is making contact with the ground. Feel all those little points of contact. Maybe you feel some on your fingers, your wrists, your arms, knees, tops of the feet, the forehead, maybe your nose. Let yourself sink into those points of contact just a little bit more. Really relax and into the ground. If your hands are wrapped back towards your feet, bring them back out in front of you. On a breath in, lift your chest up to hands and knees, tabletop. Exhale to downward facing dog. Bend your knees, lift your hands, take a deep breath in. Exhale, hover step between the hands, forward fold. Half lift, breathing in. Forward fold as you breathe out. Try to give your legs a hug. You can bend your knees, wrap your arms around your legs, squeezing your legs nice and tight. Release your arms. Keep your knees bent slowly. Inhale all the way up to standing. Hands float up overhead. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. Let's do some balancing postures here. We're going to start with dancer's pose. If you know that you are feeling a little bit wobbly today, you're always welcome to find a piece of furniture or hang on to a wall. Give yourself a little extra security there. I'm going to be mirroring you, so I'll be doing the opposite side. Bring all weight to your left leg. Put your right hand out like you're holding a tray. Sweep that hand down and back, making sure to keep the elbow crease and the palm of the hand facing out to the side. And then kick your right foot up, and grab the foot with your hand on the big toe side of the foot. Your thumb is right in the arch of the foot, and your fingers are underneath on the top part of your foot. If you're already feeling a little bit of a challenge, you can stay right here. If you want to come deeper, inhale the left arm high. Exhale, folding forward, hinging from the hips. Bend your standing knee just a little bit to help the balance. And lift that right foot up behind you. On your next breath in, come back up to standing. Exhale, release, shake out. For some reason, that one really gets me in the shoulder, so you gotta be careful there. Let's come to the other side. All the way comes to the right foot. Put your left hand out like you're holding a tray. Sweep your left hand down and back. Check on the elbow crease and the palm of the hand. Make sure they're still pointing straight out to the side. Lift your left foot up. Grab the big toe side of the foot. Thumb is right in the arch. Fingers underneath. 
If you're already a little bit wobbly, already feeling a challenge, stay here if you want a bit more. Inhale the right arm high. Exhale, hinging forward from the hips. Bend your standing right leg to help with the balance. And lift your left foot up behind you. On your next inhale, rise back up to standing and release and keep it open. Hand to foot pose. Both feet kind of hip width distance apart. Inhale, hands high. And so folding forward, nice long spine going down. Relax your head and neck. And one at a time, lift up your toes, slide your hand underneath your foot. So that the palm of the hand is facing the sole of the foot and the toes are resting right in the crease of the wrist. Once you've got both hands underneath there, you can bend your elbows out to the sides to come even deeper into the fold. Your knees can be bent here. They don't need to be perfectly straight. You can also find some movement, bending one knee, pushing the other back towards straight. You can get a little swaying motion going on. Nod your head yes, take a deep breath in. Shake your head now, breathe it out. One more time, nod your head yes, big inhale. Shake your head now, exhale. Release your hands out from under your feet. When it comes to your fingertips, to heel toe your feet back together again. Bend your knees, rising up to standing on a breath in. Float your hands up overhead. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. Chair pose. Today we're going to do a revolved chair pose, a twisted chair pose. You can have your big toes touching with a little space between the heels. If you push your heels together, you'll feel your ankles banging against each other, and that's very uncomfortable. So just leave a little space between those heels. Or you can also choose to open up your feet and have your feet on two different train tracks, kind of right underneath the hips. For me, it feels better to have the big toes touching, but everybody's different. Just listen to your body. Inhale, lifting your hands up overhead. Exhale, sitting back down into your chair. Push your hips down and back. Wiggle your toes, bringing most of the weight to the heels. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a deep breath in, stretching your spine up long. Exhale, twisting around to the right. Tuck your left a little outside the right knee and push your hands together to come really deep into that twist. If it's okay on the neck and the balance, you can keep your gaze up towards the ceiling. If not, just look down at the floor. Release on an inhale, coming to half lift. Exhale, folding forward, relax everything down. Inhale, rising up to standing. Take your whole breath coming up. Lift your hands up overhead. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. Let's find our twisted chair pose on the other side. Your feet should still be in the same position as they were for the first time. If not, you can find that comfortable foot position for chair. Inhale, lifting the hands up. Exhale, sitting back into your chair, pushing the hips down and back. Pull the shoulder blades down, wiggle your toes. Bring your hands to heart center, lengthening the spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, twisting to the left. Right elbow tucks outside the left knee. Push your hands together. And if it's okay on the neck, bring the gaze up towards the ceiling. On an inhale, release, coming to half lift. Exhale, relax everything down. 
Bring your fingertips down to the front of the mat. Weight comes to the fingers. Heel to your feet out wide. We're coming into big toe pose here. One at a time, take your middle finger and your index finger and tuck them in between the big toe and the second toe. Wrap them underneath the big toe and lock them in place with the thumb. Once you've got both toes, relax your head and neck down. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. Grab onto those toes. If you want to come deeper into the hold, pop your elbows out to the sides and pull your chest in closer to the legs. Here you can also find some movement, bending one knee and then the other. Release your hands. Weight comes to the fingertips. To heel to your feet back together again. Bend your knees, coming all the way up to standing. Hands float up overhead. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. Coming into Malasana here, open out your feet. Toes out, heels in. Feet should be about the distance of your, the width of your mat. Inhale, lifting your hands up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Sit deep down into your squat, pushing the hips toward the floor. You can open up your feet as wide as you need to to get the heels to touch the ground. Push your knees out with your elbows. Stretch the crown of the head up towards the sky. Sometimes in Malasana, we tend to lean forward. Try to sit up nice and straight. It's okay if you're not perfectly straight. Remember, we're always meeting our body where it is. Just come as deep as you can. If you want to try for crow pose, now's the time. You can plant your hands flat on the mat like chaturanga hands. And then bring your feet together so that your knees pop out wide to the sides. Bend your elbows, tucking your elbows underneath the kneecaps and start to shift your weight onto that shelf made by your upper arms. Maybe you just want to float one foot and then the other, switching sides. You can always have a block underneath your head here. Maybe you can float both of your feet. When you're ready, release back to Malasana, deep squat, hands come to heart center, push your knees out, sit up really straight and tall. And release to a seat. Bring your hands behind you, fingers playing towards the hips. Gently lift the of the knees side to side. Release the hips. And come into boat pose. Knees are pointing up towards the sky. Just start by interlacing your hands outside your legs and sitting up really straight. Feel your back straightening out, sitting up nice and tall. And try to keep your back in that position. Tuck your fingers inside the creases of both knees. Lean back just a little bit to float your feet. If that's enough, you can stay right there. If you want a little bit more, release your hands out to the sides. We're just going to hold it today. Try to hold it for about five breaths. If you want to come even more deeper into the pose, a little bit more of a challenge, you can try to straighten out your legs. That one's really hard. It makes me shake. One more breath in, and release. Vada bound angle pose. Bring the soles of the feet together. Let your knees open out wide to the sides. Interlace your fingers. You can tuck them underneath the toes or around the fronts of the toes. Push down on your knees, lifting up on your spine to the crown of the head, stretching up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, folding forward, hinging from the hips, keeping a nice long spine as you go down. You can open up your elbows and push your knees down with your elbows. Once you find your edge, round out through the back, relax your forehead down. 
You can keep your hands where they are on the feet, or you can release your hands and crawl your fingertips forward if that feels good. On your next breath in, lift your chest up, bring your knees together. One more time, hands behind you, gently windshield over the knees side to side. And let's come into half fish pose or twist. <clears throat> Send your legs out long in front of you. Bend your right knee, pointing up towards the sky. You can stay right here with your leg long and your foot on the right side of your left leg, or you can cross your right foot over the left leg. Again, you can stay here keeping that leg long, or you can also bring the weight over to the left and bend your left knee, wrapping it around the hips. And bring your right fingertips behind you at any point that's comfortable back there. With your left arm, you can either hug your front knee to your chest or inhale, lifting the arm up. Exhale, tucking your elbow outside the knee to come even deeper into the twist. Bring your gaze back over your right shoulder, and looking behind you, or maybe just out to the side. Release your arms, plant both hands on your left side, and tap your forehead down for a counter twist. Inhale, pushing your chest up. We'll wiggle out the legs, and let's come in on the other side. Bend the left knee, pointing the left knee up towards the sky. You can stay right here, or you can lift your left foot up and cross it over the right leg. The right leg can stay where it is, nice and long, or bring the weight over to the right. Place your right hand down, and bend your right knee. Wrapping it around the hips. Bring your left fingertips behind you at any point that's comfortable back there. Right arm can either hug that front knee or inhale, lifting your right arm high. Exhale, tucking the elbow outside the knee. Release your arms, plant both hands on your right side, and tap your forehead down for a counter twist. Inhale, pushing your chest up, wiggle out the legs, and come all the way onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest, like your arms are on your legs. Take a big breath in here. Exhale, forehead comes up to the knees, curling into a tight little ball. Release your head back down to the mat. Last pose before Shavasana, happy baby. You can keep your knees bent and hold outside the knees. Or open up the feet and reach for the pinky toe edges of the feet. Push your tailbone back down flat on the mat. Gently rock side to side, pulling the knees in towards the armpits. You can also bend one knee and straighten out the other leg. Go side to side like that a couple times. And then when you're ready, release, making your way into Shavasana. If there's any last pose you'd like to do we didn't get to in class, you can take that now. Otherwise, just find the most comfortable position you can. Laying down on your mat. Lift your heart up, pull the shoulders down the back. Bring your chin into your chest and rock your head side to side, just letting your head fall back to its natural center point. Close your eyes. Release your body. Let yourself melt into the ground. 
once again, you can make a note of all the points of contact your body makes with the earth. And imagine sinking into those points just a little bit more, really feeling the earth supporting you. Release your breath, coming back to natural breathing. And release your mind. Just watch your thoughts come and go as if they're fishies in a river swimming by you. You see them and then they swim away and disappear to be replaced by something new. Find a few moments of stillness to complete your practice today. Blink your eyes open, start to make your way back up to a seat. Thank you so much for joining me today for yoga. Namaste.